Hey, I had Daphne here. Thank you for coming back to me already with another essay. Great work here. Um, and <laughs> it made me laugh. You've um, picked up on some points I made in the correction. Uh, yeah, formal letter, informal letter. I'm sure you understand the difference. Corrections look good on that one. Um, indeed. Okay. I think it was because uh, you had made the point and you needed to be more emphatic that I said yes to it or I added it. Um, normally I wouldn't put it, it's only for emphasis, so if you need to make the point again, sort of thing, um, I hope that makes sense. We'll see if it comes up again in context. Uh, the issue of web and mobile dependency, good, in developing countries has grown in importance over the past few decades. Okay, has grown in importance, let's just be a bit more specific here, grown in importance or has because this is quite easy to write this but it doesn't necessarily mean anything as uh, so you could say has become increasingly concerning over the past few decades few decades 20 years did we have the internet 20 years ago not really um so over the past decade so think really carefully with expressions like this don't just throw it in because the examiner will immediately pick you up. Um, the first line has to be perfect. This is due to the fact that network and cell phone technologies have developed, and you've got developing already, okay, have expanded all over the world. So be really careful, every word has to be perfect. To make communication, or to make, you need a verb in there, make communication easier and faster. Although I firmly agree that living in the modern, that the advantages of living in the modern technological world, change this round, I firmly agree that the advantages of living in the modern technological world outdraw any drawbacks. Now, if you're starting with although, you need the other half of the sentence. So you, you can't start with although like that. If it was although, you'd have to say, although I firmly agree that um, the advantages of living in the modern technological world outdraw drawbacks, da, da 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 you would have to finish off the sentence. Yeah? You'd have to say, the advantages are significant, there are many drawbacks. You see, watch out with using although, it's difficult structure. It's good, but it's difficult. Um, and then, don't worry about this, just go, this essay will consider, take out we, yeah? This essay will consider the positive and negative impact of this reliance on people's lives. The key word in this essay is this reliance and dependence. You cannot write an essay just telling me the internet is lovely because this is the most important word. Firstly, nowadays, communication technologies such as the internet and mobile phones play an increasingly important, play a, a significantly important role in our daily life. Since the time of the internet, the advent has grown in importance year on year and people mm -mm -mm. okay, since the advent of the internet, okay, you put the advent there, okay, since the ad or just th since the advent, okay. Um People have been able, I would go people, so since the advent of the internet, people have been liberated from paper administrative, paper-based administrative tasks, which has significantly reduced um, uh, reduce the number of trees um, destroyed okay to make paper or something like that okay uh, so people have been liberated from okay so that's quite a nice sentence to put in there um, so, get rid of masses of paperwork, this is 
not quite right, okay? It is too many things. It's like a list and quitted from our lives. We don't say that. Um, you'd be better to say it like this and get rid of massive is too informal. Um, likewise, it's hard to wonder. So too informal. Um, remember, this is a really academic essay, okay? I would not say this in an academic writing. Okay, you might say it from speaking to you, but not on academic writing. Um, okay, so, so um, the speed and efficiency of the internet, of the internet, whatever, has enabled many office workers as well as students. Uh, to study and work oh sorry it's hard to wonder okay you're saying it's hard to wonder what they would have done without it um yeah i think you need to address the question here they are dependent on it so don't worry about what it was like before let's go into why people are using it so the speed and efficiency of the internet has enabled many office workers as well as students to work and study Okay, to work and study more um, successfully uh, compared to going to libraries or traveling around the world, or something like that. That paragraph, I think, needs to be a little bit more, a little bit more precise. Okay? And just watch out the level of the language here. Uh, secondly, okay, in the modern world, living in the modern world without current level of developed technology, sometimes it's hard to mention that majority of people read books. Okay, but it's hard to mention that. You you wouldn't have hard to mention. Um, just go in like the majority of people now read books via cell phones, which were downloaded, which have been downloaded from the internet, and simple mobile communications have replaced. Use present perfect here. Replace real face-to-face -face meetings. According to a recent search, is it technology addiction could lead to mental disorder. Now, I'm confused here, Vlad. Come on, we need to sort out the coherence. This paragraph, I need to know good things about dependence. Yeah, you have to discuss both sides, advantages and disadvantages. Okay, this paragraph, I want to know the good things. Okay, good things. All right, we can communicate more quickly. We can work more efficiently. Less trees cut down. Lovely. Well done. Okay, the dependence, we are dependent, it's okay. Here, um, you need to make the point, this needs to be all the negatives, yeah? So this needs to be the danger of me uh, mental health problems, the danger of addiction, the loneliness for young people, that sort of thing, needs to be the disadvantages, yeah? Uh, a batch of time in front of the computer, way too casual, yeah? Um, in conclusion, it's vital to emphasize that modern technologies to help people to work and study more efficiently. Advantages, defect. Yes, but that dependence on, don't forget this bit, on, has helped people okay, to work and study more efficiently. Yeah? The advantages surpass disadvantages. Um, the advantages of this surpass the potential mental health is for, yeah okay so go back to the title don't worry because most students um have a bit of a problem on this essay but this is that it's just a lesson in reading the question okay this is the key word it is not is the internet a good thing it's is dependence on it okay or not um, so I would just have a re another look at that essay maybe and just um, make sure you are happy and see how you could um, kind of upgrade that a wee bit. Um, so job application. So this is formal. This uh, madam and best regards not for a formal letter. No, you want to have yours faithfully. Really important. Make sure you're happy on your endings. Okay. Um, so, I'm in the business development, I am the business development manager who worked, I am a, I think, who has worked many years in the same market as your company. Since I opened 
If I opened to the new opportunity, lots of job-related resources were looked through by myself till Okay. Okay, I think we need to sort out the tenses here. Okay. Um, and also the kind of what I'm writing in response to the job advertisement, which I saw uh, for the position of which I saw on LinkedIn or something like that. Uh, last week. Okay, then go into I'm a business development manager who's worked for many years in the same market as your company, and I don't think you need that. Same market, your company, and I have learned about the history of your company and recent results in the quarterly report. And explored more, explored, comma, more specifically, the market of the industry. Yeah. Um, so here, I believe that this job, so I don't think you need that, but I believe this job description matches my qualifications perfectly uh, due to the fact that I've had similar responsibilities and achieved success. Yes, good, lovely. I would be delighted. This is the formal language we were talking about to send you a portfolio of my best projects and explanation of how I managed, past simple, watch out, whoops, managed them with success. Um, okay, I wouldn't put that, I would put something like that. I'll put something like, I have worked for many years in this sector and been. <clears throat> with awards and uh, pri or awards and praised for my team working abilities, something like that. Okay. Um. Okay. Careful here. Um. I enclose my CV for your interest and look forward to hearing from you. You please contact me if you need any further information. Okay. These are the fixed expressions which you absolutely need for this kind of letter. I'm going to send you a link on task one, uh, key phrases. I strongly suggest you have a really Good look at those. Um, this is there's certain lines that I'm looking for that need to be in this kind of um, CV letter, like this sort of thing. This formal writing is super important. Okay, so you've done well, um, but just take a bit of time to do a bit of homework before the next tasks. Okay, well done, Vlad. Keep on going.